Are AFL teams losing their unique identities in favour of more simple and basic jumper designs? Today I'm going to tell you why I think that could be the case and how four teams in particular could potentially improve the uniqueness of their jumpers. If you look at the Guernseys of the 18 AFL teams, they can all be broken down into about five basic designs. Stripes, hoops, sashes, a logo or monogram, or some sort of V design. The two teams that don't really fit into these five design categories are Sydney and West Coast. Their home jumpers perfectly fit the sweet spot of being simple and basic while also managing to be truly unique. If a local footy club took the West Coast jumper design, recolored it and switched out the logo, the overall design would still look like the West Coast design. The same can't be said for the 16 teams that fit into those five basic design categories. I mean, when you see a Port Melbourne jumper, you don't think of Collingwood, even though the design is largely the same. There are four teams in particular in the AFL that in improving their Guernseys to a more modern look, may have sacrificed their unique identity. These teams are Fremantle, Port Adelaide, St Kilda and North Melbourne. We'll start with Fremantle and Port Adelaide, who are two teams in a really similar situation. Both of these teams went through a major rebrand about 10 years or so ago. Frio changed from their classic anchor Guernsey to a more basic chevron design, while Port Adelaide changed from their iconic premiership winning Guernsey to a simple V design. Now don't get me wrong, these two jumpers are great designs and look really good, but they're not at all unique. Any team around the country could wear these designs, recolor them, and no one would think of Frio or Port. Compare that to their older designs, where what was on the jumper was representative of who the team was. An anchor representing the Dockers, and the lightning bolts representing the power. The same can be said about their recent logo redesigns, that have thrown away unique identities that represent who the team are, in favour of simplified basic logos. But I would agree with those that say that these two jumpers in particular are somewhat outdated. But as you'll see with all four of the teams we're talking about in this video, the solutions already exist and are part of each team's history. For Frio, that means a return to the anchor Guernsey, but instead of the classic red, green and purple, the old purple haze jumper could work well. These jumpers keep the simplified minimalistic style of the 2011 rebrand, but also tick the box for having them wear something that is truly unique and represents the identity of the team right there on the jumper. For Port Adelaide, I wouldn't return to the design that they won their 2004 premiership in. Instead, I'd have them wear their original away jumper that they wore from 1997 to 2002. This design keeps them in a mostly black kit, which I think has been the best thing about their V jumper rebranding in 2010. And it also ticks that box for being a basic, minimalist design that you can immediately tell who it is. On the other side of things, we have St Kilda and North Melbourne, two teams that have been around for a long time and are still more or less wearing the same jumper designs that they either started with or have worn for the majority of their existence. But again, there's nothing truly unique about St Kilda's tri-panel jumper or North Melbourne's vertical stripes. I mean, North are one of three teams that basically wear an almost identical jumper design, just in different colors colours. Much like Frio and Port, St Kilda and North have previously worn jumpers that are basic, simple and truly unique to their respective clubs. For St Kilda, that would be the cross jumper of the 90s and early 2000s. From this design, you could quite easily create three jumpers, a home, away and clash, that all look great and truly represent the identity of the Saints, as part of their logo is now the foundation of their jumper design. At the same time, in the 90s and early 2000s, North Melbourne were wearing their Bounding Roo jumper, which is a favourite amongst footy fans in general, and again represents who the club is, while also being way more unique than being the third team in the AFL to wear the vertical stripes. So there you have it. Four teams that with a quick flip through the history books could have a fresh new look that not only fits the clean, simple, modern, minimalistic style that looks great, but who could also have jumpers that make them stand out for all the right reasons and truly represent the identity of that particular club. As always guys, thanks for watching, leave your thoughts in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like on the video if you liked it, and uh, until next time, see you guys later.